How old did dinosaurs get? Stick with me to the end of the video and you'll find out what the new record holder of oldest dinosaur is. I'm Dr. Brian Curtis, one of the co-authors on a paper where we did exactly that. We took the longest dinosaurs that have ever been discovered and we performed osteohistological analyses on the bones to determine how old did they get? How old were they when they died? We did two animals, both of which you know. The first one used to be called Seismosaurus halorum. And Seismosaurus is this gigantic, 110 foot long, long neck, long tailed diplodocid sauropod dinosaur that lived in New Mexico. And it is enormous. I've had the great pleasure to study the bone. Well, Dr. Carrie Woodruff, lead author of our study, went out and did histology on the specimen. He took a core of the femur and he also checked out a rib. And you're saying rib? Turns out the best indication of the age of a sauropod dinosaur are on the ribs nearest the cervical vertebrae. I don't know why, but it's true. So he did the analysis. Another fun fact, when he pulled out the samples, they were all blurry. And it was only until they put dishwashing fluid on them and cleaned them off and cut through some kind of possible biomolecule that we were able to get the information we needed. So any geochemist watching this, give us a call because we really want to know, do we have some kind of organic molecules, maybe some adipose fat? I don't know. But back to the age. So without going into the math and the mechanics, we count these lines and then we use some special software and we retrocalculate the age of death. Camarasaurus was the previous oldest sauropod at 40 years old. The previous oldest dinosaur at 50 years old was the recently named Carcharodontosaur called Meraxes. And you can check out a video we did on Meraxes the day it was announced. But drum roll, 60 years old. Unbelievable. We did not see that coming. So Seismosaurus, or what we now call the Plodocus holorum, and we have four specimens of it, and this is by far the largest, and this one's 60 years old and 110 feet long. One of the other cousin species, the Plodocus carnegii, aka Dippy, that specimen was histologically analyzed for age at death, and it came in between 24 and 34 years old. Now it's 80 feet long. So assuming their species grow similarly, it took Seismosaurus another, or Diplodocus halorum, another 30 years to grow that extra 30 feet. We're not saying it grew a foot a year, but we are saying that the growth tapers off. Now, sauropods have possibly the fastest growing bodies of any dinosaur that we know of. And the reason is they laid lots and lots of eggs, 40, 60, 80 eggs at a time. And these cute as a button, adorable little animals were lunch packs for everything. If you had a hankering for food, eat a baby sauropod. So we figure they hatched, they scrambled, and they had to grow really fast because their best defense is being massively large. Oh yeah, and that very powerful whip tail. So we now know that the giant Diplodocus from New Mexico is a 60 years old. But there was still a longer animal we got to study. Jimbo, the second Supersaurus Vivian A specimen discovered and the second longest specimen. We checked out its rib, and lo and behold, we don't know how old it is. We can't tell. It lived so long that it erased all of the signs of how old it is. The bone was remodeled. As you grow, bone changes through time, and it starts. you don't have 60 lines like a tree. There's some neat ways that we go and figure out how many lines are lost. But with Supersource, there were no lines. The bone had completely changed inside over time to where all of these lines that we would use, all of these biomarkers that we would use, are lost, they're gone. And we hadn't seen that before in our research. So that was something kind of new and exciting to us, was we didn't know you could run out of room in the bone to keep recording the age. Our software suggested it was 225 years old. Now we're not saying it was that old, please. We are not saying it was 225 years old, but we are saying that the fact that it even suggested that is an indication that this is a very old animal. The challenge is we have no lines of arrested growth. We have none of the other fundamental systems that we can use to provide an age. So all we know 
is that it's old. It's very old. Follow-up studies will include looking at the other two supersaurus specimens, other Diplodocus holorum specimens, if we can get permission to uh, do the study. This, the downside of histology is this, these are, in, are destructive, so we have to do a drill into the bone or take a section of the rib, break it, and slice it up like a meat slicer. And that's not great for this bone because it's destructive. Now, I'm also working with the same team plus a whole bunch of more. I lovingly call the Sorrow Squad. We're working on describing the Museum of Ancient Life's beautiful barosaurus. If you've been to the Museum of Ancient Life in Lehigh, Utah, and you look through the prep lab glass and watch what they're working on for the last few years, it's been that barosaurus. It is exquisitely preserved. It's the most complete barosaurus ever found from the cervical eight all the way through caudal 40, essentially articulated and complete. It has a bunch of limb material. This is the Rosetta Stone of Barosaurus. We're going to run histology on Barosaurus, and we're going to see how old it was. We've got a, a, a pool to see who gets closest to figuring out how old that animal was. It, has in, it was an old individual. It has all kinds of unique morphology that indicates it's an older animal. And it's going to help us tease apart this riddle of Barosaurus and Supersaurus and Apatosaurus. And we're going to try to figure out what all of these long-necked animals that, that have some overlapping morphology, what they are. So make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, you know, all that cool stuff. But in all reality, keep watching our channel. We'll keep putting out cool YouTube videos. I'm Dr. Brian Curtis of Fossil Crate saying thank you kindly. Adios.